Hey guys, this is me, Spyro Geek12345, playing Spyro 1. So let's get started, shall we? Memory card 1 is unformatted. Formatted now. Format. Running. I need to see data on this memory card will be lost. Format. Woo! Yes. In the world of dragons. Spyro, everybody. Spyro the dragon. The purple dragon. Right, so... Oops. Sorry. So essentially, in this game, we have to rescue all the dragons, collect back all the eggs that we stole, and rescue the 12... Um, collect or recollect the 12,000 trigger. Or is it 14,000? For a dragon's age. So, I'm just uh, basically sorting out my camera. I can't stand it on my screen. Back to. Rescue Nistol. Okay, so uh, when you're going around this home world, it's called the Artisan's Home World, and you'll notice that it's very green and lush. It's where we're going to do all the decision making and such and stuff like that, and so you should basically just collect gems and flame these big norks to get the gems. is following Spark and um, Spyro is called Sparks and he's basically here for Spyro protection. If Spyro gets hit once, Spyro will turn blue. If he gets hit twice, it will turn green. If he gets hit a third time, Sparks will die. But no fear, it can come back if it's dead. However if Spyro is hit a fourth time, it's at the end for Spyro. It will lose his life. But it never comes down. I'm a special Spyro player. Anyway. Basically, the uh, controls, for those of you who don't know, because I'm trying to get all the young uh, children of this present day, new generation, into uh, this game, which is an amazing game. The controls, X is to jump, circle is to flame, square is to charge, and essentially, L1, R, uh, L1 and R1 are used to roll. R1 and R2 are used to maneuver the camera. You can use a D-pad, which I don't use, or you can use the analog stick to move Spyro around. Those are your uh, default controls. Yeah, I don't really like the idea of 
Skylanders Spyro. Although I reserve judgment until I've actually bought it myself, but I'm going to wait till Christmas and get it at a cheap price because I'm not spending that much money, 50 quid, on a game that might not live up to its full expectations. But anyway. Let's go, dog. If you watch my um, watch how I play the game, you'll notice that anywhere else off is. Um, so basically, <laughs> if you watch these videos, you'll get to know where everything is. So you'll, you'll be able to handle the game easy peasy. Like a walk through, you know what I mean? Whispered Thomas. Hey Spyro, press the jump button twice to glide. And and the brain. What? Falling from high mountain peaks, plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? That. Sounds like that, Dragon Ball Z. Anyway, we have switch the back to subjects. We have. Matter of 16, no, 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 it's uh, 10, uh, 20 gems to find them. This is how amazing I am in this game, man, I really miss. Play hide and seek. That was good. <coughs> Now the way I'll do levels, I will explain later. Well, as soon as we got these gems. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Dark Hollow first. Then I'll uh, pick and choose those off that. So it was uh, a good first video. I hope to see you soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. I'm sure you will. It will keep all the to me. As for me, Spyro Sparks and the entire Spyro Kingdom, I bid you farewell. And adieu.